where we show you how to use the POP keypad with the Fibaro Home Center 2. As a first step, you have to include the device into your Home Center 2. For that, you use the normal inclusion mode, but you have to set a cross here at the security mode. That is very important. If you don't use that, it will not be included properly. Now you remove the back plate of the POP keypad, which is normally screwed, but already unscrewed it. And now you can start the inclusion mode on your Home Center 2 and press the button 4 followed by your star on your keypad and then the device will be included to your Home Center 2. So after the device is properly included, you can go into the device overview where you see every single element of um, the yeah, Z-Wave network and here you can see two new devices. The POP keypad will be shown as a motion sensor and as a scene controller. For the first step, we look into the motion sensor, which is actually normally used as a temper protection, but is currently not completely um, compatible with the Home Center 2. But we can still use it with the main functionality of setting pin codes. Here, we first have to start the synchronization. To speed up the synchronization, we set our keypad back into the rolling plate and press the button of the bell. After the synchronization is finished, we can set new pin codes. So here we can set the first pin code for that keypad. In our case, we just use a very simple pin code 1234 and we set a label for um, the user 1, which uh, would be me. So I call it Z-Wave Europe. And so that's the first user and now we add it to our keypad. Now we have to wake up our keypad by pressing the bell button again and then the pin code will be transferred. So now it's telling us that there was an error while saving the pin code but um, usually that already is the confirmation that this is done. So if the pin code is set here in this field and um, the pin code transfer was successful. So we will check that by going back to our devices and we will check the other element, the scene controller. Now I set the user with the number one and it is one, two, three, four. Now I enter the pin code. One, two, three, four. Confirm it by a star. And I will see that the LED blinks green. That means I have a right um, pin code set and I can see the scene number one, I repeat it in my home center two. So that means user one um, just entered the home. So each user has its own scene ID and now I can connect that with my scenes. So we have different scene IDs for the different uh, users and uh, we also have a scene ID for the bell button. So when I press the bell button, the number 21 will appear in my home center. So I can set the scene when 21 is set, then um, the light will turn on or something. Then I also have a scene ID if I enter a wrong pin code. So if I enter a wrong pin code, it's the scene ID 23. So now I can set um, based on the scene IDs different scenes. And for example, a scene would be that um, I set a new graphical scene for the doorbell. So I could set a scene which is called um, doorbell scene. And I use um, my last included device, which is the keypad, use the key 23. Uh, 21 which is used for the doorbell and every time somebody presses the doorbell button I get a message so I will set a notification the notification is called for example doorbell and so I get a notification when somebody is ringing my doorbell so that would be a scene example or I could also use um, key number one which is user number one and then set a different message where I get um, every time somebody entered the key of the user number one that, for example, my kids got home. So that is um, how to use the keypad in the home center. It's pretty easy and you just have to be aware that you have to use security mode inclusion and that you also have to um, change the pin codes here in the motion sensor and not in the scene controller. That's it so far and thank you for your attention.